guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video, and today's video is a little bit different in that I'm not planning on camera this week. Um, I just didn't have time to put together my spread on camera and edit the video the way that I would like to, so I just went ahead and planned off camera, and I thought that this week, rather than doing a plan with me, I would do a planner show and tell, where I just kind of show you my planner and talk about everything that I used. So this is my spread this week. I planned for September 19th through the 25th. It is technically the first week of fall here, but I really, really, really wanted to use my pink lemonade kit before summer was officially over. Um, I did some more fall themed spreads, um, or well, a more fall themed spread last week. And um, I should have done this spread last week and the spread that I did last week. This week that would have been more appropriate, but I just didn't realize how quickly fall was coming upon us. So this is probably not the type of spread you would expect for the first week of fall, but that's okay. I really love it. So I, like I said, I used my lemonade kit. Um, this is a kit that I released quite a while ago actually and just hadn't gotten around to using. So I'm glad I finally was able to make use of it. Um, I just did my to-do list across the top as I always do. I find this to be really, really helpful to just keep me on track every day. So I just laid down that. And then my today section is towards the bottom, as always. Um, I just basically used a lot of my stickers in yellows and greens to match. I pulled in a lot of my August items um, just so that I could make use of those and make sure I had enough little labels and things. I tend to like to use a lot of labels. So, um, what do I have going on this week? Um, it's spirit week at my boys' school, so lots of little reminders for things like that. Um, they had to wear black today. Um, Austin starts his robotics club this week, so I marked that using these adorable little robot stickers. These are actually going to be released in my shop this weekend. Um, I think they're so cute and perfect for marking robotics for him. I, of course, put in my little step into tracking trackers here at the bottom. That way I could, um, these are kind of hard to see on these lighter colors, but um, there's a spot there for me to write my points for the day, my Weight Watchers points, um, my steps for the day, and to mark off all 10 cups of water. If you guys aren't familiar with the step into tracking challenge, it's just a challenge that I am a part of to keep me accountable in terms of my um fitness and health goals. Um, so that is for that. I got one of those on every single day. Um, my very last Weight Watchers meeting is this week, so I put that in. Um, so yeah, basically just all of my various plans for the day. I did use a couple of the Fox and Pip stickers. You guys know by now that this is my absolute favorite one. This little girl working on her computer is my favorite to mark my, um, at home work days. Um, I use this little laundry girl because by Sunday there's always a little bit of laundry that's kind of piled up that I need to catch up on, so I used that. Um, what else? All of these boxes, the half boxes and um, the little labels are from the kit, but all these other little icon labels are my August items that I pulled in. You can see that the yellows don't match exactly, but I'm okay with it. I think that they look okay. Um, I have my weekly meal planning on the side, my habit trackers that are all part of the kit, um, or two of them are a part of the kit. The third one is from my August items. I really, really made use of a lot of August items this week. I also pulled in some of my um, multicolor icons to fill in here, so basically just a whole bunch of different stickers that I pulled from my shop. Um, the only ones on here that are not from my shop, like I said, are the Fox and Pip ones. Everything else is mine. Um, I made my own little date covers this week just because I wanted to be creative. I used um, some icon labels both from August and from May. That little pink one is from May. And just put those down and then covered up the little um, icons that were on there with some of the deco from the kit to mark the days of the week. And I think that that looks super cute. So. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this. I think that it's going to do me well this week. All my places to keep track of my step into tracking and my um, Weight Watchers stuff is really going to keep me 
um, doing well. So that is it for my planner spread this week. Sorry, it wasn't a plan with me video, but, um, you know, it's nice to do something different every once in a while. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you guys think of the whole planner show and tell thing. If you'd like me to do these more often, or I can start doing these like at the end of the week when the week is completely filled in, however you guys want to do it. Or I can just go back to regular old plan with me's, which is fine too. It just wasn't in the cards this week. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.